Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Yes, you read it right on the title. You can play awesome games for absolutely free on your Galaxy Watch Active. So here are the top 5 games. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, DIY videos, tutorials and much more. We have dedicated playlist with lots of videos for Samsung and Fitbit smartwatches. Be sure to check it out. Alright guys, to start off, I will show you how to find these games. You can either find them on the Gear Variable app on the Android or iOS devices. You will find the Galaxy Store over there and search for the game you are looking for. I will list the name of each and every game during the video so you can search for it on the App Store. You can also find these games in the Galaxy Store right from your watch and install it on the watch from your watch. Stick till the end of the video for my personal favorite game and also guys check out the links in the description of this video for various deals on smartwatches and accessories as well as to try Amazon Prime for absolutely free. And just a heads up guys I'm not the developer of any of these games and I was not endorsed to do this video. It's just my personal unbiased opinion. Starting the countdown with number 5 on the list is Flying Bird Winter developed by Mycolo. It's just like the classic Flappy game. I have done a video for the Flappy Bird game on the Fitbit Versa as you can see right here and it is linked up in the card section. You can watch it once you're done watching this one. I would say though it's definitely hard to play it on the Galaxy Watch Active versus the Fitbit Versa. I guess the reason for me probably is that the bird does not jump high enough as you saw it on the Fitbit Versa and another reason is the accent and the descent of the bird over here is faster so it will be a bit challenging one to score. Guys let me know your highest score in the comments down below if you have played this one. I also wished that we can use the physical button to play as it was in the case of Fitbit Versa so the view is not interrupted. Next on the countdown list number 4 is Gear Tech 2 developed by SRPOL R&D Institute Poland. This is the same one as the Tic Tac Toe I reviewed on Fitbit Versa as you can see right here and it's linked up in the card section so you can watch it once you're done watching this one. In my opinion, I really like the one on the Galaxy Watch Active than the Fitbit Versa as the interface is nice along with the graphics and you do have an option to play with a computer or a friend um, with 3x3 mode or 5x5 mode both of which has easy, medium and hard play mode. Which is not the case in the Fitbit Versa. It's a, a good time kill game on the go and it's not at all laggy and works great with a lot of options. Next on the countdown list is number 3 Snakes 3310 also developed by SRPOL R&D Institute Poland. This actually looks like the one on the Nokia 3310. Not sure if you guys know about it. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have played it. I have reviewed the game called Snakes on the Fitbit Versa also linked in the card section. I personally like the one on the Galaxy Watch Active as it does feel nostalgic. As you might have seen, you can click on the right side of the screen um, so that the snake will turn right and if you click on the left side, it will turn left. The walls are not a block like uh, which is the case in most of the snake games. Next on the countdown list, number 2 is Tetris 2 developed by Haken Pekdimer. I recently reviewed Blockfall games on Fitbit Versa which is a paid game and that's linked up in the card section again. You can watch it once you're done watching this one. I would say though I personally like the one on Galaxy Watch Active for few facts that it's absolutely free, it shows the placement of the block, uh, shows the next block coming up. Each block is color coded and the layout is uh, pretty good. There are few hidden functions like to move the block to right side, hit the right, of, the right side of the screen, to move it on the left, hit the left side of the screen and to drop the block faster, click on the bottom of the screen. 
it's a nice game to kill time if you if you were to stop the game in between for any reason it will resume from where you stopped which is another nice feature so in short this is a very nice game highly recommended Last on the list and my personal favorite is the Dial Pilot Free, developed by Level Starts AB. This is sort of a 3D game unlike any other and gives Minecraft like feeling where you fly the airplane between the buildings and tilt or turn by touching the left and right. On the newer Galaxy Watch Active 2, you can use the touch sensitive dial to turn the plane right or left. You can collect coins, go through rings and other obstacles and even hit the enemy with gun by clicking on the center of the screen and score points. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried it and how do you feel about it. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.